Welcome back, wonderful students. We are on lesson 2.4 of metabolism. And today in our lesson, we are only going to be focusing on part two and part three. You are going to skip completely over the warm up, just go straight to part two, and we're going to begin there. So today in your investigation, um, we're going to run some tests in the sim. And we're going to try to answer this question, this investigation question. How can having a medical condition affect the delivery of the molecules to the cells in the body? So let's see if we can figure that out. So in this sim, you're going to observe a healthy body and you're going to observe one with the condition. You're going to gather data about the molecules that are delivered to, a, to the cells in a healthy body and what happens if you have a medical condition. So we're going to jump into Amplify. All right, notice I've jumped back into Amplify and we are on card two on the bottom in part two of the lesson. So we're gonna follow these directions. We have the SIM right here. You're gonna click on the SIM and open it up. Then you're gonna select healthy body, test and feed the body two fish, two corn and two sandwiches. Then we're gonna set that activity level to walk. Press play and just as a hint, you can actually make the test a little faster by changing the speed of the simulation. Um, and then we're going to switch to graph view when we're ready to view the results. You're going to record the results in this table right below. Repeat the test so you can record trial two. Now, one trial is not enough. In science, you want to have more than one trial because the more trials you have, the more observations you have, and the more data you have to back up what you are saying is going on. So we're going to jump over to our uh, sim and what you're going to do I'm going to reset this okay and we are going to go to healthy body mode yes we are going to hit test and then we are going to put a couple of things up here first of all we're going to give it to corn if you give the body two fish and give the body two sandwiches. The next thing we're going to do is make sure this activity level is set to walk. We're going to press play and we're going to speed it up a few notches. Um, and we're going to let this simulation run through. Now when the simulation is over, you want to go to graph view because this is where you're going to get your results. I'm going to switch back to amplify and show you. So glucose, amino acids, and oxygen. You're going to record glucose, amino acids, and oxygen in these spots. And then you have have oxygen again well that one is how much oxygen is taken in per breath so that'll be that last one here that you'll record and then what you're going to do is you're going to do that set of trials a second time now one of those trials you're going to want to I'm going to pause this so you can see what I'm doing go back to the live view and you're going to take a screenshot of your end results you're going to have to paste this into your amplify lesson so I believe it's control shift but the buttons on the top <laughs> on the bottom bottom left hand corner of your screen and then one button at the top the little um, rectangle with two lines beside it if you hold down all three of those buttons at the same time it will bring up a camera on your screen and you can take a picture of this um, sim and put it into your lesson now let me show you where that goes so if you go to card four in section two, we are going to be adding in our picture here, the screenshot of the healthy body. Now, just to note, you're going to need to do this when you do your next sim after these two with the body that has the condition. Okay, so make sure you upload your screenshot here. You click that button and click on your uh, screenshot that you took, and then we will come back and do this in a few minutes. So we're going to look at card number three. Okay, so if you have not finished card number two, go ahead and pause here and go ahead and complete card number two before you move on to card number three. So in card number three, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take the body that you read about with the condition, select test, feed the body to corn, to fish, to sandwiches, set that activity level to walk, and record your results. So you're just going to go back and you're going to reset this to your condition. So maybe you have anemia, asthma, diabetes, or pancreas injury. I'm going to pick asthma, and I'm going to click yes, and I'm going to click test. Now remember, this should be specific to the one that you have been studying. We're going to click to corn two fish and two sandwiches. Make sure the activity level is walk. You can hit play and I'm going to 
bump it up to two times the rate. And then if we go over to graph, again, you record the data from right down here when the sim has finished. And do not forget to come back and take a picture of this um, and then put it in your card four at the bottom for the screenshot with the body condition. Don't forget to do that part. I'm also going to remind you when you do your one with your condition, make sure that you record both trials that you do and select which condition that you had. Um, and then when you are done with that, you're going to go on to card four. You should already have your two pictures uploaded. Okay. And if you haven't gotten this far, pause here so you can do this part before we go into this to get this next part together. So you're going to use your data tables and annotate the screenshots and discuss them with your partner. So use those data tables that you recorded in card two and card three at the bottom. Um, and you're going to discuss with your partner, how are the healthy body results different from the ones with the condition? Was this what you predicted in card one? Is this actually what you thought you'd see is what you actually saw? Then the next question is, why do you think that the person with the body condition was different from the healthy body? And explain this. You and your partner discuss this. Have a short discussion to make sure you understand. Go ahead and pause the video here so that you guys can have that discussion and you can complete part two of this lesson 2.4. Okay, so now that you've gone through part two, I'm going to just focus on this key concept for just a moment. We just want to make sure that we got this one before we move on. A problem with the body system can result in fewer oxygen, glucose, and or amino acids getting into the molecules. Hopefully at this point you understand that. If you need to review that, pause the video here so you can read it one more time. Okay, so we're going to go on to the discussing word relationship section of this lesson. So you're going to use the relationship sentences um, for these words and answer questions about the conditions that you have learned about. So you're going to want to make sure you use these uh, words in your descriptions because these are important vocabulary terms that we have been using during the lesson. So make sure that you are discussing these ideas with your partner and answering the questions that are on the page and using all the words. You need to at least use each one of those once. I'm going to jump back into Amplify so we can look at this part of the lesson. Okay, so you're going to work with that partner and you're going to come up with um, answers to each of the questions using one or more of these vocabulary words. Make sure that you guys use these vocabulary words and discuss each one of these questions. So you're going to need to pair up, if you are asthma or anemia, you're going to need to pair up with the person that has the other. So if you have asthma, they should have anemia so you can answer these questions. And you will only answer these four questions on on the left hand side. If you are a diabetes and pancreas um, focus, is that, if that's your focus, then you're going to be answering these four questions on the right. So you should only be answering four questions here with your partner and you need to partner up with somebody who has a net asthma or anemia and someone who has a pancreas or a diabetes injury. So those two should be a pair and these two should be a pair. So you can answer these questions. All right, so if you need to finish up part three, go ahead and pause here, and I'm going to move on to part four. So in part four, activity, uh, the activity is the homework. This is part four of the lesson. So this is a should do. So this is not required. This is a should do for you to do if you have time to help boost your grade. So I'm going to go back to the lesson and go to activity four. And all you do in this part of the lesson is launch the sim right here, this homework tool. And then you're going to press hand in. I'm going to open that in a new tab so I can bring it up. Please hand in the modeling tool to see a screenshot of your completed model below. So when you're done with the sim, you're going to click hand in and I'll show you. And then you're going to answer these questions below. But your goal is to change this incorrect model so it correctly shows what happens after a person eats and breathes. So you want to add and remove molecules from this body system so the model accurately represents a healthy body. Remember, that this model actually has some very big mistakes in it. So you're going to take this and you're just going to add or remove these molecules. You can just do that by pulling them off to the side and they'll drop off. If you just pull them off to the side, they'll just drop off for you. And then when you're done, you click hand in. And when you do, it hands in your work. If you go back to amplify, refresh your page, down here at the bottom, the uploaded image will now show the image of your lesson right there. Okay. Um, so then you're going to answer these questions based on the picture you have and answer the reason why you say what you say about the model. 
All right, make sure you guys jump back into Amplify and see what else is on your lessons for today, or not on Amplify, on Canvas. There we go. Make sure you jump back on Canvas and see what your rest of your lesson is today.